One thing that people often ask us about or feel they can't foster is the thought about moving children on. So quite often people say to me when I'm out and about, oh, I couldn't foster because I couldn't, I couldn't say goodbye. We prepare the children um, from an early stage really of arriving to us um, for a forever family. Um, and obviously it's whatever suits the children I think it's important to, to tell foster carers that it's absolutely normal to feel sad that a child is going, um, especially when a child has been there for quite a while, sometimes years. It's totally normal to, to, to love the child, to be very attached. I think even if a child moves on, it doesn't mean necessarily that you can never have contact with the child again. I think it's actually nice to um, stay in touch with the child and become part of their wider extended family. Children can move on from foster carers for a variety of different reasons. Sometimes it's that they're going back home again and we're always working in Coventry to try and keep birth families together whenever that's the, that's the safest thing to do. So if a child is going home that should mean that enough changes have taken place at home that mean that that's where the child should now be. So that should be a good news story for that child. It could be that the child, it's been decided by the courts that adoption is the next move for the child. So if the child's moving on that way, that then means that the child's going on to a parent or parents um, who have decided that adoption is for them and are committed to that child for the rest of that child's life. So that should be good news for that child as well. Sometimes it's that a child's moving on to a longer term fostering placement too. So it may be that they're placed with, uh, with, with a foster care of ours initially, but actually that child it's now decided needs foster care um, until they reach adulthood and the, and the foster carers that they're with, that, that isn't the right place for them to be for that time. So again, that will be a planned move to foster carers who will have the skills, the attributes, there'll have been introductions done, same with adoption, and um, to move that child onto that permanent foster placement. So again, that should be good news for the child. So in each scenario there really, although it can be very difficult for foster carers, it, knowing that the child is going to, to where they should be actually really helps with that transition. We're also there, you know, our supervising social workers and our community of foster carers are there also to support foster carers through all of the challenges and also celebrate all of those rewarding moments together too. When a family has a child who's now in care, they always have the chance to work with social workers and support workers to identify what they can do to actually get the child back and uh, sometimes they're lacking some, some basic parenting skills which are necessary to look successfully after your children. Um, but it can, for example, attend some courses um, to get better at that, to get the necessary skills and then um, someone can come out and uh, look into have they approved, assess the situation and then if, if uh, things are fine now, uh, the child can also move back home.